Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this week we're going to be reviewing the LED strobe light for various drones but in this one I'm going to be using it for the DJI Mini 2. So make sure you stay tuned till the end and we'll see if this is worth buying. So if you're new around here please consider subscribing to the channel so we can help it grow and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. Any comments you got on this video, please drop in the comment section below. If you like the music that I'm using, I'm currently using music from Artlist. Artlist is a non-copyrighted software and you won't get any copyrighted in the future. So if you're a content creator, Artlist is the thing for you. If you want to use my link in the description, the link will get you two months free once purchased an annual subscription. So make sure you head on over there and take a look. So the first thing we need to do is, before we test the, the LED strobe light, is to make sure the most important thing, that the drone is still under the 250 grams mark. I have a scales beer, and we're gonna set the drone up as if we were gonna use it to fly. So we're gonna need a battery, the LED strobe light, which is there, and I've also got ND filters which I'm going to pop on as if we were to go out on a normal fly. So we're just going to take off the strap. We'll take off the gimbal cover. And then what we're going to do in is pop the battery in the back. So as you can see I've stuck the LED strobe light on the back. The sole I've used is, is double-sided Velcro. I'll put a link in the description where you can purchase them from. And I've also stuck them on the top. All we're gonna do is, we're gonna see which position is the best. Ideally, I wanted to stick it on the bottom of the drone, but can't stick it on the bottom of the drone because we obviously have the, the vents to keep the, the drone itself cold. And we have the downward sensors. So we don't want to interact on any of them. Just going to open up the arms. And then what we're going to do is we're going to weigh the drone without the ND filter, so with the battery and the strobe light on, just to see how much it weighs. And fingers crossed, it's still under the 250 grams. We've set it to obviously zero, and then we're just going to pop the drone on top. And as you, as you can see, it's still under the 250 grams. So we have two grams to play with. The ND filters we're gonna be using, and my personal ND filters are the ones by Sunny Life. I'll stick a link in the description for a video if you haven't seen that video on how to use the, the ND filters on, and are the ND filters worth using. Just going to pop the ND filter now on the front of the gimbal and then same again the the weighing scales is on zero and we're going to weigh it with the ND filter so again it's still weighing 248 grams which is still like i said under the 250 grams mark which is happy days we're just going to go through now the different settings you have on the, the strobe light and basically how to use it. If you ask me, it looks pretty smart on the back of there. It doesn't look very out of place. I'll, leave, I'll also leave the, the link in the description for the strobe light on where I purchased it from. So make sure you head on over there and uh, if you like the, the LED strobe light, then pick one up yourselves. So to use the LED strobe light, you basically just got to press the button and hold it and then the lights will come on then and you have different type of sequences and you also have uh, different colours so if I press it once again you'll have the strobe light and that's the white light that is if I press it again it's a bit slower press it again it's a solid white light then. So if I press it again now, 
it'll change the color. So it basically goes through the sequences of colors and the slower the strobe and obviously a solid strobe then. There's the green. That one's like a, well that one's a blue that is. That one's the yellow, purple, and then back to the ice white. And then to turn it off, you just simply just press and hold the button, and then the light will just turn back off. We're just going to wait until the sun goes down now and it goes dark and then hopefully the rain doesn't start back up and then we're going to test out obviously the strobe light for the DJI Mini 2. It's literally 9.30pm in UK time. It is absolutely pitch black so there's no better time to actually test out the strobe light with the DJI Mini 2. We've got the DJI Mini 2 all set up ready to rock and roll. So let's get this bad boy up and see what the strobe light has got to offer. So the colour we're going to use is my favourite which is the ice blue. So if we look, we can't just about see it in the distance. So we tried it on the top of the drone and personally I don't think it was the best place. You couldn't really see it unless obviously the drone was lower than yourself. But we're going to try it on this one now. We're going to try it on the rear of the drone. So let's send it up and see exactly what it looks like. So the drone is only about 60 metres out now and if you look it does look a lot better on the rear of the drone. So my personal opinion I would stick it on the rear of the drone. So we're going to bring the drone back in because personally I don't really fly it in this dark. But if you can see it in this, this amount of light then you can pretty much see it any time. So let's bring the drone back in and then we'll give you my personal opinion whether I purchase it or not. I did fail to mention that the, the strobe light itself is a rechargeable unit and it states that it can last up to about six hours but you're never going to fly in them circumstances so it works out perfect for us drone enthusiasts. So like I said it does look a lot better on the back of the drone and I've worked it out that the, the white strobe light is the, the best colour and the most brightest. So guys, if you like the strobe light, please remember to head on over to the description where you can purchase the strobe light itself. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps massively with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys on the next one.